All right, the next technique we're going to do is this uh, old book page um, technique. We're going to cover the, the whole cover with these uh, torn up pieces of book page. Um, so let's just go on and get started. Um, of course, if you need to do a refresher for the uh, actual putting the uh, or making the book, the basics of making the book, then I will have a link below and you can check it out. Okay, so here are here's the cover. There's the there's the flap. It's already pre-scored. There's the spine and then there's the the pocket that's going to fold onto the inside and then the pages. So first up, let's do um, the cover. We're just going to use some old book pages and we're just going to tear them up into all different sizes and shapes and doesn't matter. You're just going to need a bunch of little pieces. Okay, now I've got all of my book pages torn up. I probably tore up way too many, but that's, that's okay. And I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm going to use a little flat um, stick to smooth things down with. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line up the corners so that they're not um, too rough. So I'm just going to stick them down and smoosh it down. And I'm just going to just keep doing that until the whole thing is covered. Try to go over those score um, marks instead of having just like a little piece laying over top of that score mark. Try to have the whole thing covered up like that. It would look, it'll be more sturdy. Okay, I ran out of glue stick, so I had to go get another one. I thought I was done, but there are some spots. I don't, I, I don't like it just being this. It looks kind of strange. So I'm going to add some more book pages to it with a fresh glue stick. And to any other spots that I see like that that are bothering me. That one has a picture. Hope it's not a bad picture. Okay. Uh, I should have torn those edges off. It would have been the best thing to do, but I didn't. One more spot. That'll be good. Okay. I'm going to go back through and double check make sure everything's, whoa, everything's down. See from the back side you can see some of the little pieces just hanging, hanging out. I like that. So I'm going to leave it. Alrighty. Okay, this time when I ink the edges, I'm going to use Distress Ink so that when I seal the covers, um, it'll kind of oh, spread. The color will kind of spread out to make it even look that much more vintage-y looking. So this is a Vintage Photo by uh, Tim Holtz, Ranger. And I'm just going to go along the edges. With the little blender tool. The Tim Holtz uh, Ranger blender tool. 
you know what, I bet you could even go in like this and then take a baby wipe. Get another baby wipe. You see how I kind of put the ink in the middle there? And then take a baby wipe and just kind of moosh it around. <laughs> moosh, it's my new favorite word. So that looks kind of cool. I like it. Let's do that. It's catching on some edges more than others. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a little bit more over here. My fingers are sticky. It's glue everywhere. So yeah, that looks good. I like it. All right, I'm gonna flip it over and I am gonna go ahead and ink these edges. I think for this inside though, I think I will go ahead and, oh look, that's glue. Spray it with water and let it kind of seep out and wick around. You can see a little bit there. Alright, I'm going to dry it. So that's pretty. The nice pretty edges, vintage edges. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and seal this front side with matte medium. Go figure. And a card. Gonna make sure we get all the edges and go every which way. All right, then we're gonna dry it and put a second coat. All right, the first coat is dry. Now I'm gonna do a second coat. It's like icing, butter. I don't know which one's better, butter or icing. Yes, I am being very generous with this. So, um, if this is like a, if this is going to be like a little travel mini travel journal, I want it to have you know protection from my purse, from the elements, from somebody spilling something on it, or me, or me spilling something on it, or me. <laughs> I'm kind of klutzy, so that wouldn't be out of the question. Uh, and I really like this. You could use a brush, of course you could use a brush and put it on there real smooth. But I like the texture that it gives doing this way, doing this technique. Alright, I'm going to, whoa! Look at there, I probably left a mark. I'm going to get this dry and I'll be right back. Alright, it's almost dry. So I'm going to put it aside to dry some more while we work on the pages. For these pages, we're going to want to go ahead and tear them apart. Where's my bone photo? So I'm going to do that really quickly. These little books are so much fun. You know, I was thinking, you know, since the binding isn't permanent, uh, it can be taken out. You could replace it if you want to when you fill it up or just make another one. They're so easy. They're quick and easy and two sheets of paper. That's it. Two pieces of 9 by 11 paper. Alright, so this is what we're going to do with the pages. I thought this would be fun to do. I'm going to take um, some of these book pages and I'm just going to glue them just randomly on the pages just like we did the cover. So let's start. Let's go ahead and start. Same thing, glue it down. 
and smoosh it out. I think I'm going to take that edge off. Oops, I didn't get enough of it. I might even have some flipping over to the back side like so. Why not? Let's do something on this side. Oops, hang on. Let's do something down here. It's just really for inspiration, you know, when you're flipping through your book. I found some cool stuff to just inspire you at that moment. Or it just gives you something to start with. It's not blank. That's my favorite part about adding stuff to the pages. You don't have to add anything to the pages if you don't want to. But I think it's nice to have something to have something there. So I'm going to continue to do this and probably put it in fast forward. I know how much everybody loves to fast forward. Well, so you don't have to watch me glue down every stinking piece, right? Alrighty, now I want to take my ink, the same vintage photo distress ink, and I'm just going to do the edges. Oh, you know what? First, I better fold them. We'll just fold them as we go. So, what's cool about this is when you go to use a wet media when you've when you've inked it with distress inks, then it'll kind of blend, uh, start blending with that distress ink a little bit. And if you don't like that look, then you need to use a more permanent ink like um, archival or stays on or something like that. So. I'm going to ink all my edges up, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are a day later. Um, I got tired last night, and all the uh, boys came home, so um, I just wanted to point out I'd left this flat, and I was a little worried that I didn't go ahead and bend it last night, but um, it's bending just fine. I was worried it was going to be too stiff to, like, shape into... Um, um, the covers, but it's just fine. So I just wanted to kind of point that out, even if you left it overnight without shaping it, it's going to bend and it's going to work. And All right, so last night I finished with all of these pages. I inked them, oops, missed a little spot, with Distress Inks. Um, there's three signatures, so there's six um, pages all together. But this morning, I thought um, the, my original one that I made, I had added, well, let me just open it up. I had added solid color pages to the signatures, which is cool. Of course, my favorite color, purple. Um, and a bunch of washi tape and stuff in my little pockets here. So I thought I would do something a little different. One of my favorite, favorite all-time paper lines is Romance Novel from Prima by Marion Smith. This is one of my favorites. And this is a 6x6 six six, um, paper pad. So what I thought, since these are 6 inches wide and 4 and a half tall, I thought I could use this paper pad and make pockets in the center. So, I was going to flip through here and pick out several, um, like I like this one, uh, several patterns to use. 
I'm going to put them in the center of these signatures. Uh, let's see here. This is one of my favorite patterns. And it's got that vintage feel, which I like. This has kind of got uh, black uh, distressing in it, so maybe I'll add a little bit of black um, towards the end. I like this one. It's one of my favorite patterns. Let me just look through real quick. Also, this little 6x6 paper pad has these super teeny tiny little envelope uh, things that you can cut out and these little tabs. This, would, this is actually the perfect type of thing for these little mi uh, mini travel art journals. So consider that. Look through your 6x6 paper pads um, and see if you can you know, find something that will work for your style that you're doing. Alright, so we need to trim these down. Let me get my trimmer. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I just kind of left it all sitting here last night. I was tired. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm just going to want to make them a pocket, like a top loading or a side loading pocket in the center of each signature. So I'm just going to trim off, trim it to the same height, four and a half. Um, yeah, four and a half. Mm. Oh, well, that's not straight. Well, that's kind of odd. The paper's not straight. Alright, four and a half. I'm going to flip it over and straighten it out. So I'm going to do all three of them this way. Trim them down to four and a half. Either that or my trimmer is way off. I'm not sure which. Okay. It's early in the morning and I have the sniffles today, so you have to excuse me. Alright, then I'm gonna I'm going to Oh look, it's not even a six inch. It says it only goes to five and seven eighths. Well. Right, I'm just going to fold it in half then instead of scoring it. I'm just going to butt it up there. Fold it in half. That's odd. Well, so the 6x6 six six paper pads aren't true 6x6. Six six. <laughs> Alright, so then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and punch uh, thumb pulls. I'm not even worried about if it's in the center. So we're going to make this one a side pocket. And we're going to make this one a side pocket as well, just because I like the top part there. And we're going to make this one top. You can try to center it up if you want to. Oh, this is a thumb punch by We Are Memory Keepers. It's a, it's not a must have, but it just makes it easy to do that, you know, where you can just easily punch it. And, but it's not a must have, but it's a cool little tool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stick that, those in the center like this. And then we're going to sew it in, and then we're going to glue it together to make a pocket. So we'll have a pocket in the center. But I am going to distress these really quickly. I'm just going to use the, the same ink, the same brown. And just ink the edges. The 
Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Okay, so that's all distressed. I ended up just taking the, the, the um, pad directly to the paper. It just gave it that darker um, edge that I just think is really pretty. Plus, it goes really good with the vintage look of the covers. Okay, so we're just going to put our signatures together now. We are going to put, I'm going to open this up, line them up. Paper clip them for the cover. This is the spine, the one that has the three score marks. Got it lined up to the half or marked or uh, what's the word I'm trying to find? Um, set to the half inch. And that way, there's really no measuring involved. You just poke the hose in the covers and then get your signatures. Poke those in them. Before I go any further with that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this pocket down while I'm stringing the signatures together. Okay, here's the seam binding. This is what it looks like when you buy it. This is the Hug Snug. I get mine on Etsy. There's, um, I think it's called Zipper Stop. But they might have changed it. I, I don't remember. I haven't bought some in a while. But this is $10 or $9.99, and it's a bunch. There's 100 yards here. Um, and this is what it looks like before it gets all crinkled up. It's just kind of flat. But this is how I'm going to use it. This is um, uh, burgundy wine is what color this is. And I thought it looked really pretty with the, the three um, patterned papers that I chose. It picks up some of the pinks that are in there. So, the same thing, we're going to find my scissors. We're going to string these signatures. I'm going to cut my pieces first. Okay, so I've got it all um, um, stitched together. That's not the right word. I've got it all binded together. Oh my. It is early. You have to forgive me. I have had coffee. I overestimated how much seam binding I will need, would need, so I cut the extra off and I'll use it in other spots in here, hopefully. So it's all bound together just like the other ones. Um, there's that pocket. And then there's the pattern paper. So what I'm going to do, see there's the, um, the seam binding. I'm going to glue it closed. So, let me get my paper clips back out and my glue. I'm using a uh, Scotch quick dry adhesive. I'm just going to run um, a bead, well maybe, a bead of glue onto each side since this one is a side uh, opening pocket. And I'm going to close it. And paper clip it. I'm not very patient, so I like paper clips. It does it does hold pretty quick, but not quick enough for a video. All right, I'm gonna do that to all three of these center pockets. This one goes down one side and across the bottom. So we're going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Alright, in this, um, the romance novel 6x6 paper pad, there are, whoops, there are four different sheets of cut out um, uh, ephemera type things with these little pockets and these little journaling spots and these little tabs. Um, so I went ahead and tore those out of the thing and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up and see what we can do with them in our little art journal here. It's kind of turned into like a little mini scrapbook, but um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut these up and then 
I will be back with uh, with some of the finished things that I have. Okay, I went ahead and um, got this finished up. Um, instead of sitting there doing the ribbon again, I decided to go ahead and turn the camera off and um, just finish it up. I did a, a little embellishing on it too, so I'll share with you um, what I did. The, the um, original idea I'd come up with was this one, and I colored some washi tape to match the purple. And I have the um, page protector pockets in here, and it's got extra um, colored cardstock. Whoops, I can get it out. It might be stuck. <laughs> extra colored cardstock, and then um, I use these labels all throughout uh, the book. You probably now I probably can't find one. <laughs> well, like there. <laughs> What I did was I stamped them onto the book pages and then I, I punched them out with a punch and then I ran them through my sticker machine. Um, I don't know if it's actually a machine, a Xyron, um, and it looks like this. This one's a big one and then the little one looks like this. So I actually used both of these and it's a pretty cool concept because if you're going to do some art journaling and stuff while you're traveling, around then it's nice to have these little things that you can stick on your pages um, over top of whatever or if you need a little journaling spot or, or just anything so it's cool to kind of um, make it you can make anything a sticker so this one is the five inch Xyron sticker maker and I only used it a little bit um, I use this one a lot because a lot of them were, were small um, let's see I'm just going to demonstrate for you how it works, but uh, let me see if I can find just a, a random piece of something. Oh, look, this one's got a wallet full of washi tape. This one, I literally took an ink pad over top of it. It was this color originally, um, and then I just swiped it with the ink pad to make it purple. It kind of matched my whole theme there. I'll just take one of these pieces of scrap. Um, Hard stock here. I'll just tear it and show you. So there's like a hole. You probably can't, the light's probably not going to let you see, but you put your, it's like there's an arrow right there, and you stick your paper in there until it, until it hits. And then on this side, there's the paper you just pull. So you just pull, whoops, didn't have it all the way in there. You just pull it through. rip it out and then you have a, a sticker you can do this with anything really well not anything anything I shouldn't say anything because I don't know if that's true or not um, so yeah so now they've got an adhesive back piece of, of cardstock so that's fun that's a fun um, that's a fun little tool to have if you're gonna do these little mini um, art journals it's not a necessity it's just convenient so I've got all these little extra uh, bits in these little pockets, and then I'd added the solid cardstock, and there's one of those labels. I guess I can hold it up closer and see. There's the paper I added to the to the um, blank pages. So I decided to kick it up a notch for the one that I made earlier. Same process as this. Um, I did do a little bit of embellishing. I used uh, the the um, hug snug is that what it's called hug snug seam binding um, and then I was using the romance novel six by six six by six patterned paper there's my doggies again it's uh, time for my son to be coming home from school so it might get loud here in a minute I have to shut the camera off okay so what I did was some of these pages have um, let's see if I can find one here I just passed it up. Maybe there's another one. They have like these words. Let me find that page. Oh, for heaven's sake. There it is. Like this one says beautiful. And then another one of them um, has words like 
journal, inspired memories. Um, but anyway, there was one that was really tiny that was said memory lane. I thought this was cute, so I just added that, um, cut them out, made them a sticker. Just made them a sticker with my little my little sticker machine thing. And I added some washi tape. And then these are like little, um, these were also in the paper. They look like little stamps. So I made them into stickers and put them on there too. So it just made a cute, um, cute little cover. So inside, well, let me show you, let me show you this part first. I made an additional little pocket flap right here to hold um, extra of the old book pages and then there's some extra washi tape. I used the same washi tape um, that I used on the cover. So that was just like a little extra. I needed an extra space. And then here's that inside pocket. Now look at these. These are those cute little envelopes that were that I cut out. A tad bit tedious, but I cut them out. It was that one right there. So it turns into this. Isn't that cute? And then it has two little um, cards that go inside. I just distressed them a little bit. This one I just left loose like this. But then the other two actually made them whoops, into a sticker. What I thought would be cool about it is I used the plainer ones. I thought it would be cool to, if, if you were working on something and you wanted to add a little secret uh, note or something, you could just stick it onto the page um, any way you wanted to. Or you can stick it onto the cover, or you could stick it onto the pocket. You know, you can, I just thought it was a kind of a neat idea. So I made two of those into stickers, and they also, each one of them have like little, this one has a cute little old fashioned Polaroid. Um, anyway, I thought that was super cute. I usually don't uh, do this much with my art journals, but I, got, I love that paper so much I got carried away. Okay, so then we've got the book pages, more book pages. And then here's those pattern paper uh, pages. They are all glued together. And then I made like a uh, tag. It's got... Um, the pieces that I cut out here, I just put on these this little tag to kind of go in there. It's a little snug. I should have made it just a little bit, a little bit shorter. But all that, you know, all that six by six pattern paper. So there's like a pocket. And then there's some more of the um, old book pages. There's one of the other um, pocket pages that I made and made this little pull out tab and using some of that extra ribbon. Um, See, more book pages and then these are some of the some of the journal spots this is one of the journal spots that I cut out of that paper and then I ran through my, my Zyron sticker machine sticker it's not a sticker machine it's a sticker creator well, I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> um, more washi tape and I just bent it around to the back side you know these are just little things you're just jumping off points when you're wanting to paint or draw or um, just doodle. Uh, more book pages. Another pocket with a um, with a tag. Oops. And, and this book's already chunky. It's already gotten, you know, um, full. <laughs> so I went ahead and added a clip because sometimes when you're working on stuff, you, it's, it's nice to be able to hold the page down um, so it doesn't keep flapping around on you. So I added a clip back here, and then inside here are all those little cut cut apart pieces I was telling you about that I made into stickers. That one's just Telegram. That one's just the alphabet and Telegram. Now uh, this one says Note to Self. Um, here's some smaller little little journal spots. You can put like a date or a title. This one says Remember This. Oh, there's another little stamp. Um, that one says priority, delivered, and notes, telegram, you know, the memories, inspired journal. These would just be easy to, another little half a stamp there. Oh, I didn't, it kind of blurred, didn't it? Just be easy to add into the um, perfect day, um, into the 
you know, process when it's, when it's got a sticky back. Well, look, it's stuck to me. Another little stamp and a typewriter, and this one says unforgettable with some journal spots, journal spot. I mean, they're just, it's just, it's too cute. It's, it's easy, um, and I don't think those are very expensive. I think you can even get them at places like Walmart. Um, but I used, I made another, um, let me get these back in here. Of course, you don't need to take all of those, but that was just what come off of those um, ones that had a little envelope. So I made another pocket out of the leftover, um, how come I never can remember that? A sheet protector, <laughs> just a square one and just glued it down, um, nothing fancy. Used the same washi tape, some extra washi tape on top, um, and that's it. So I really, I really like it. I think it's super cute. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, if you if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. Uh, that way. <laughs> um, and we're gonna I'm gonna do some more some more techniques um, here coming soon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these four up, and then I'll work on some more, maybe. Uh, but let me know what you think, and if you have any um, anything that you'd like to see me uh, create or, you know, make for you, just leave it in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe, and thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.